The Asus Z170 Deluxe Motherboard. One click overclocking made wrong. Welcome to Electric, where I bring you electronics for the electronics freaks. This socket LGA 1151 motherboard looks like it has all the features. Kind of like that overly expensive car that only Bill Gates can afford. Luckily, this board is in the enthusiast range for motherboards at the $300 price range. Supporting the amazing onboard Intel graphics of the Skylake CPU with one HDMI 2.0 and one display port. Supporting the amazing onboard Intel graphics of the Skylake CPU with one HDMI 2.0 and one display port. This motherboard brought the kitchen sink with an onboard dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 card. Supporting 64 gigs of dual channel DDR4 memory at 2133, 2400, 2666, 2800, 3000, 3200, 3300, 3333, 3400, and OC'd at 3466 megahertz. Wow, I'm out of breath after that one. Ever wonder what crazy fast overclocked memory is like? Try it out on this board. Two PCIe 3.0 X16 slots, single at X16 and throttled to AX and AX with both PCIe slots filled. One PCIe 3.0 slot at 4X. This disappoints me. I would have liked to see something with four PCIe slots for that mythical four-way SLI at this price range. This is like a car with a stage two racing setup, but only a stage one turbo. It makes me sad. Don't skimp on the power and ridiculousness, Asus. I know you have better. Let's see if Asus makes it up to us with some other features. Starting off, eight SATA six gigabit ports, one SATA express port, two M2 sockets, one USB 3.0, five USB 3.1, one USB 2.0, and a USB Type-C port. Mmm, sexy. Supporting 7.1 surround sound and optical audio with this Realtek ALC 1150 onboard audio card. All in an ATX form factor. This board comes with some Asus tuning and monitoring software known as AI Suite 3 Utility. I love this software, but I still prefer the BIOS for any major overclock. Looking into the BIOS, Asus never left a thing out. Looking into the BIOS, Asus never left a thing out, but this is a board made for extreme overclocking and tries to bridge the gap between beginner and export with an easy tuning wizard. I've never had good luck with Asus easy tuning. I can always get way more out of my system if I go into expert mode, but that's how it should be. The only issue is some of the voltages they push your CPU to for smaller performance boosts, you're more likely to burn out your CPU that way. All in all, the build quality and the capabilities of this board make it top of the line for a Skylake board. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.